Hello everybody, my name is Anto and welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4 as the Byzantine Republic. Let us continue on from where we last left off. So, we are currently, you know, attacking Japan. It's not working out so well because we just can't take any ports for the life of us. It'll just never happen. Let's go to the Japanese front. You guys actually ready to do your... No division zero transports. Well, that's not helpful for us at all, is it? But this isn't a real port. As far as I can tell, this port doesn't exist. Even though it looks like it should exist. So this will take two days. We need to take we need to get a Hiroshima as fast as possible. We're getting attacked. Don't sink my tanks, please. But it looks like for the most part. Actually, how does Hong Kong doing? Oh, we took Hong Kong. Oh, fantastic. Okay. So I'm gonna send these guys to be. You guys just kind of come up here. The black army is still kind of dealing with most of this stuff. The blue army has nothing to do anymore, so I'm going to send them up here. And then, the, yeah, the black army, you guys can just kind of go down to Korea. Because for the most part, like, none of you... Yeah, these guys don't even have any orders anymore. Delete all your orders. Delete all your orders. You go here. The white army also doesn't have any orders, so they can just kind of go over here as well. There's a lot of divisions where we have... That'll hopefully be able to do something. Like, if we take Hiroshima, then the invasion is basically won. We can't take Nagasaki, because apparently they have so many troops there that it's ridiculous. This isn't a port. Actually, that might be a coastal defense. Maybe it's a coastal fort? I mean, they exist. And I don't, I don't know what they look like. So maybe this is... I mean, it looks like it has big guns on the front, maybe. So that's my only argument for that. It takes them almost a week to walk anywhere, just because they have no supplies. Okay. It's gonna take you, what, three days? We don't have, we don't have intel. Oh, because they want to go over to the coast of Japan, but we can't go to the coast of Japan. We can send planes over here. And then we can get... Okay, so how about these fighters go here? Go to southern Japan. Don't lose the the airport, by the way, because if we lose the airport, then that's kind of just over. When? How long does it take for you to arrive? I'm not too sure, but we'll send them over the coast of Japan. Close this. Now, how long? We only have 44% air superiority. I mean, I think even with even though they have no supplies, I think just the overwhelming force of the numbers that we have. It's still going to take them three days to walk to this. Oh, no, they walked there. Six divisions. Don't walk over here. Absolutely under no circumstances to go to this province. Really, they, they don't have enough supplies to attack here? We'll send this tank. I don't think this tank's really going to get anything done, though. We're sending... What is this? We have XL Divisions? Oh, okay. Well, you guys just come over here, then. We need more research. Okay, so we have the artillery, rocket artillery. I think we can kind of ignore that. Land Doctrine. Soft Attack or Hard Attack? I think Soft Attack actually would probably be better for us. So let's get that going. Yeah, as far as I can tell, there's no way for us to actually send supplies anywhere. We can't leave the island. Yeah, I think this has to be coastal defense. No, it's it's nothing. It's not an air base. It just exists. As nothing. Netherlands will send us 28 divisions. I mean, we'd have a lot more divisions on our side if we, you know, took them, but... I think we're going to lose all four. To be honest, I think we're going to lose all 40 of these divisions. Sweden, we have 20 out of the 84 days. Is one of these a, co a port? It is. So how about the White Army? Who doesn't have a commander right now. I don't know what army he's attached to. 
We just got rid of the one guy. Of course we did. Okay, now we need him in charge. Let's go back here. Just take anybody else who's not him. Yeah, there we go. The green army doesn't need a guy. So we'll edit this. To only attack the poor province, because that's been my issue this entire time. And let's split that down into... I don't even have a plan over here. 20 out of 42. Alright, okay, so assign everybody back to this. And then, I guess just... How do I get them to... How do I unassign them? I, wanted, I want them to do anything other than that. I guess that kind of did it, but then I'd want him to kind of not do that. Well, we'll send him over there for now. Now, next tomorrow, we'll be able to actually invade Japan, or invade Sweden. Actually, we're just going to put you into a different army entirely, just so you don't do anything. Japan, Japan, Japan. I mean, we're winning on a technicality, but you guys aren't really able to do anything. Can we, if we attack here... Now, there's still a lot of divisions to defending this province. Okay. Forty, but we just don't have the supply to do anything. We have, like, no organization. And we can't get home, as far as I can tell. So these planes, we're going to take them out of... Out of Japan, because I can't risk them being there. Because if we lose... I think we're going to lose this entire army. All 40 divisions here, I think, are going to get lost. Which is terrible, but I think that's what's exactly is going to happen. Look, really don't have any intel on the Baltic Sea. It's right there. You don't even have air superiority over our own country. Okay. Well. You guys. Well, probably just like one of these fighter divisions. Go over here. And once that's ready. Six divisions are going to land us in the support province. Like, we can't get military access through anybody else. Like, if we had military access through Sweden, or through Denmark, then it would be fine. There wouldn't be any issues. You want to go under normal? I want, no, I want... Normal operations, but still, that's actually not enough for, uh... Uh, they, they, maybe they just haven't arrived yet. Maybe that's the issue. Well, we'll, we'll see. In yeah, Sweden very, very soon. It kind of sucks that Sweden has to be, like, so powerful. Well, not, not, not powerful. It's just that they have control over stuff. Air wings with no missions. Okay. Uh, I don't know what the hell we actually want you to do, though. You can't reach here. So you might as well go over... It there and just kind of hang out for now. Actually, what we should be doing is up getting one of these armies to naval invade from here. Oh, because it's already an invasion order. I guess from Shanghai. Cause where are you guys mostly? You're mostly here. Okay. So do the naval invasion from this province to... Nah, maybe Nagasaki's too much. Should we go for like somewhere more northern? Well, actually, there's no ports there. We need to invade in a port. Yeah, so all of you get ready to do that. That's your only job. Just go here and here. Go to this port province. I guess these guys really just need to kind of hang out. And not die. There's no ports on this island. And, like, how Japan is 9% of the way to capitulation. That is, they have 54 to 88 brigades. We have 40 divisions on their actual island. If just one of our allies could help us do anything, which I don't think they're going to do. I mean, there's a lot of plans ready, but I don't know if the AI is actually going to be able to, you know, do anything with them. Yeah, and thinking about it, we should actually send 
some of these other divisions to actually uh, prepare a war against the Soviet Union. Because that's what they're going to be doing next. So if anything, these two guys should actually join the Soviet front. Do we have air superiority over the Baltic Sea? We do. Can you actually land your invasion? Well, they can. So, okay, you guys march here. We'll see if these eight infantry divisions can actually, you know, march their way over. And probably for the next... Ah, it's still going to take... Wait, where, where are Marines? Oh, eight days till Marines. And I think we're going to need Marines. So we're probably going to change a lot of our troops over to Marines for the next invasion. I think that's probably one of my main issues, is that there's... How, like, how big is the, the penalty for right now for our, for our infantry to actually river amphibia? Actually, they have a bonus. They actually don't have any negative penalties for actually doing a uh, naval invasion. Well, isn't that convenient? Okay. You guys go over here. Front line there. I mean, I, I want all of you. All 24 divisions. Go over there. Why can't Japan, why can't you be as easy as Sweden? Just do that. There we go. And that should be fine. I mean, I'll put, we'll still have on the Soviet front because they're going to probably eventually be on the border with Finland anyway. So I'm sure it'll be fine. Yeah, they're just going to lose organization. We can't do anything there. This is going to take 73 days. And all of the infantry, so not the tank. No, I won't. Select all the purple army. Without the mountain. Actually, why do we have mountaineers? Yeah, everybody except for the tank. I want you to go to. Uh, oh, we actually need to make a marine division. But I don't think we actually got the marines yet. Damn it. Okay. For some reason I thought we already researched it, but no, we're still five days away. And then when that's ready, then we should be good to go. These guys still can't do anything. Interwings with no missions. Did I already tell you to do something? You absolutely have a mission. Los okay, what do we now have? We need some oil. I guess we'll get some oil from you. So who else is... So Mexico joined us? I mean, that's nice. And we are at war with Sweden. We're not at war with Iraq, even though that they're also part of the Allies. We're also not allied to Iraq. It's just very odd. It doesn't make a lot of sense. And you guys should just be good to go. Like, Sweden has 52 divisions at maximum. I want you going at maximum. Take over the entire country. And just kind of march out from there. We'll send more reinforcements if we have to in the future, but I think for the most part we should be fine there. I mean, Hiroshima, they've got guys in basically all of their ports. Okay, we got Marines now, Scramp and Steam Line Line. So, research, it's 43. This isn't 45, 44. So let's get this stuff started. Uh, what else gets available in 44? Well, we can get rocket engines. But I think we don't need to. Construction fleet plus 10%. Synthetic oils we don't care about. We don't need synthetic oils. We can just get stuff from the United States. We might as well get Marines too as well. Even though it's going to take basically forever. I don't think we can attack this province. Five division against four with no supply. So yeah, this isn't... We're going to lose in less than a day. Yeah, they're, they're going to stop that. Well, that's an issue. And all of you guys, once again, except for the tank, we're going to want to switch you into Marines. Oh, no, we're going to gain stuff? No, I want to edit the Marine templates so we can actually get all the Marines we want. Marines. 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 But actually, we need these guys to be artillery because that'll kind of keep them the same. And then we had basically all of this, right? Engineering company, signal company, logistics company, save that. 
And now everybody except for the tank switch to Marines. And I don't think they're actually going to lose anything or anything will change. Yeah, we'll gain nothing. We'll need a handful more rifles, but we have a stupid amount of rifles. So it's perfectly all right. We can't change the, uh, the French troops, which kind of makes sense. Three divisions, no supplies. I think what we need, if we're going to try to even attack this with no supplies, we're going to need to at least attack from multiple angles. Yeah, now we're losing again. Oh, Japan, I hate you so much. Once again, why can't you just be like Sweden? Sweden's easy to take. No national focus. Foreign expedition sounds fine. Modify government. We have 171 points. Wasn't there stuff here? Army, yeah, division attack was 10%. I could have sworn we actually had most of those before, but apparently we just didn't. Why are we taking attrition here as well? We don't have enough supplies to send across the Baltic Sea. It just connected to the capital. It should be completely fine for supplies. Oh, here comes the Swedish army ready to defend. I think most of the Swedish army is actually up here in Finland. And I don't think Sweden, Sweden, Sweden. Yeah, they only need to get up to 20%, which isn't a lot. We might even send more troops up there, but I think the AI is actually going to ship most troops to uh, this port. We, we already saw somebody show up. I think there was a Dutch soldier that showed up in Japan, or showed up in Sweden. So, apparently, like, we're fine defending the province. Even with, like, no supplies, we're able to actually able to hold out. So these guys maybe won't die. I'm going to try to send all our troops over here. For, forget everything else. Just hold hold out in like two provinces. And hopefully maybe you'll be okay then. Japanese Navy still a little bit strong. Yeah, you guys just attack whenever you're ready. Take this province. Low supplies up here as well. Not surprising. But I don't think the Swedish army should really be too much of a threat. Is there any planes here? Yeah, German Reich. For some reason the... Germans still have planes places. They've also laid planes to uh, Norway. And that's fine. Just take over more and more of the country. I'm surprised that Germany actually never declared war in Denmark. It just seems like something that they would do because the AI is a little bit dumb. Also, I guess in the Soviet front, you guys. Offensive line. Take that. Uh, you guys, we want an offensive line to take part of Mongolia. But now I guess you guys are going to need different colors, right? And we already have a blue army, so we don't have a yellow army over here. So that'll be fine. Just because I don't want any of these colors to be the exact same. I'm sure we got some troops leaving Hiroshima, but I still think that's probably not enough to actually, you know, try to invade it. We need more rubber. I mean, we probably should get even more, you know, get extras from these places, but I'm sure it's fine. Uh, three, really? Once again, we have low supplies everywhere. Which isn't very good for us, is it? We need to get Stockholm. Stockholm's worth 20 points, 1 point, 1 point. One point, yes. Yeah. So we only need to basically hang out down here. Taking this, these three cities are going to be completely unnecessary. I think really just after Stockholm it should fall. Maybe after here. So we're going to take probably this city, Stockholm, and I'm guessing this one as well. Even see how much points it's worth. I just actually can't. How much is this city worth? One? Yeah, this one's also not worth anything at all. Well, you go walk to Stockholm, see if you can get that stuff done. But after that, they should just capitulate right away, and that should be pretty much a piece of cake. I, probably, I, mean, I wish. Why is there no world map? I feel like that would be a lot easier than what we have right now. Okay, actually, no. I think they're going to encircle us, and now we're just going to lose all 40 divisions. Well, that's a bit of... Oh, that's... That is so trash. I'm so bad at this game. Okay, well... We're just going to disband this troop, because really, there's no reason to have him over there. Oh, we disbanded him, and actually, just to give him back to the French. Okay. Well, good luck with that, France. 
So we just lost 40 divisions. Even though Japan only has like 60. We already lost most of them. Actually, looks like the United States might be doing their own things. I don't know what the United States is planning on doing. I mean, it looks like the AI is actually getting ready. Yeah, it looks like the AI is getting ready for their own naval invasions. 31 out of 73 days there. I don't think this infantry is even running into any, uh, any issues. I mean, it is winter, and I think that's probably bringing up supplies at least a little bit. Look at naval base limits for sick. Like, where are most of our supplies going? I mean, a lot of supplies are going to uh, Japan and China, to be fair, but still. I feel like we shouldn't be taking that much attrition here. Maybe even more factories now. Uh, I guess we get more bombers. Actually, we need a lot of light tanks as well. So how about we get some light tank Mark IIs. Put that to the top. Also, apparently... No, okay, you already are a Mark II. Fantastic. And now, of course, we need more resources. Because apparently we always do. We're importing 168 oil. That is quite a bit of oil. And it's probably we actually don't need more rubber. But I think maybe just even taking Stockholm might just be enough to have Sweden capitulate. I mean, we're going to need this city... And I can't tell. That's worth five, so maybe we're not going to need that one. I mean, it is winter, which is probably causing us at least a little bit of issue. Yeah, it sucks that all of our naval evasions are just trash, and I'm bad at this game. But hopefully... Why is this, mount this Mountaineer should also become a... Uh, I can see the French troops. So we can't do anything about that. 36 out of 73. Well, if we took out the French troops, then this invasion might just be ready to go right away. But it doesn't really look like it is. Why can't? Why are you not doing your division? He's trying to see. We don't have enough intel. Well, really, we have all these planes here. We don't have enough intel here. How is that even possible? Okay, don't feel like that's right. You guys have enough intel now? There we go. We're sending six marines. Maybe that'll be enough to take a port? If we take a port, then, like, that's, it's fine. As soon as we have a port, everything is perfect. But until we have said port, we're going to have some issues. I still don't understand why you guys ha have such bad supply. And these guys are really well defended. 246. Even though it looks like we have a lot of soft attack. Unless we need hard attack to actually take that. I'm not too sure. Actually, it doesn't look like there's anybody in the city. So that makes that a lot easier. Is there anybody here that we can just kind of ship north? Like, the Green Army. You guys get over here. Completely ignore this whole thing with the Soviet Union. That's fine. I'm, I'm sure it'll be a-okay. Okay, so here comes the Marines. I still think, yeah, that's really the only port province. Japan does not have a lot of ports. They have one like Tokyo. Well, they have, they have two actually here. Maybe they have two? They have at least one right there. But there's, like, no way to attack from the north. Like, there's there's no port provinces up here. So I don't know how you'd even supply troops if you are trying to attack in this direction. I'm gonna even just buy surpluses of oil. Like, a 64 surplus? Like, we don't need it, but I guess it's better to have it. Oh, so we're gonna send these, we're gonna send these troops up north. Just in case, if this, this actually succeeds, then we can land troops there properly. So, 64... So let's look at the Marines. They have a 55% of bonus at attacking amphibiously. And if we, yeah, if we can land troops here. 65, 9 days, 8 days. We'll see what happens. Please actually succeed. That'll make my day, basically. If you can actually, you know, work this out. Oh, they've also kind of cut our troops off. Well, that's a bit of an issue. Oh, oh, there's actually like 33 divisions in this province. Okay. 
And it's, once again, they're in a port province, so we can't even starve them out for supplies. But that is about half of the Swedish Navy. And they're gonna go to war with... Why would he go to war with... Now, uh, what, what the hell are these guys? We're gonna go to a Norway. That's only gonna make your life, you know, much harder, Sweden. Where's the Green Army? Are they on their way? Yeah, they are on their way. Fantastic. But the Green Army, specifically, is going to try to take Stockholm. That's their only job. Take Stockholm. The most important place in the world. Got another two days. Who the hell are these guys? American troops going somewhere up north. I mean, I don't even know where they're trying to go. I mean, the Philippines is also in the war, aren't they? They're not really doing anything for us. 92. Less than a day. Please actually win. Please actually win. They did it. Oh, you beautiful, beautiful bastards. All of Purple Army. You go here. Where the hell is the Black Army? I guess we can actually assign you to actually be the uh, the better guy that has like no maximum. Go to this port. I also need to land first. Like, what are you doing? Are you part of this? You go over there as well. Because now we actually have a, we have a port, Japan. Your days are basically numbered at this point. Yeah, if we just had marines that entire time, it would have been about a thousand times easier, but... We got the green army showing up here. But I do think that this is going to be a good time to end this episode. Thank you for watching. My name's been Ansem. If you've enjoyed, remember to thumbs up. If you're not enjoyed, you can always thumb down. If you want to see more, subscribe, and goodbye.